My name is Mira Frisch and I'm here at D'Addario today to talk to you about the proper way to sit with your cello. So the first thing we need to talk about is that unless you're practicing always in a carpeted room or your end pin is super sharp, you're going to need to have some kind of an end pin strap so that your cello doesn't slip. It is so important to have an end pin strap um, so that your cello doesn't slip while you're playing and then that would actually make you grab the cello and hold it with your left hand and that is really going to get in the way of your left hand position. So very important to have a strap and you need to attach the strap to either side of your chair, whatever's most comfortable for you. I like to attach the strap to the left leg of my chair and then you're going to adjust the strap to be the right height for you and um, it's important that you sit on the edge of your chair with your feet flat on the floor. Um, we'll talk about the chair in just a minute. I see a lot of students sometimes putting their straps straight out in front of their chair leg and that's not correct. You need to make sure that the strap is angled so that you've got an equilateral triangle between your each of your feet and um, the end of the strap where your end pin goes. Then we'll place the cello end pin at the end of the strap and you're going to be all set. The other very important piece of equipment that you'll need to sit properly with your cello, which is a proper chair. It's so important to have a chair without arms that's at a proper height so that you can sit well with your instrument. Proper height, you want your hips to be just slightly above your knees. So you don't want to be sitting in a chair that's way too tall so that there's a big slant between your hips and your knees. And you don't want to be sitting in a chair that's so short that your knees stick way up in the air. So proper height to your chair. You do not want arms on your chair because you need to be free to play the cello without bumping the arms of your chair. You want to sit very forward on the edge of your chair so that you're not in any way, shape, or form leaning back on the back of the chair. You need to sit up with a very tall back all on your own. That's important. Then um, once we've got the end pin in place and we've got great posture in our chair with feet flat on the floor, um, we're going to talk about how to position the instrument. So what you're going to do first is um, this back button of the cello. You're going to make sure that that rests against just the middle of your chest. Then we're going to think about how the knees hold the cello. You're going to hold the cello with both of your knees gently against the lower corners of the cello. And notice I've turned my cello slightly towards my right side, towards my bow arm, so that my right knee is actually hugging roughly the, the front and the back corners of the cello, and my left knee is just hugging the back corner of the cello. It's important to get that angle. Next, we want to pay attention to where the peg box is. The peg box should be behind your left ear, and it's very important that you've got a big space right here between your left shoulder and the cello's neck. You want to be able to put kind of like a big tennis ball or stuffed animal in that space. It's so important that the cello not rest against your shoulder. If it's rest, resting against your shoulder, you need to check your posture and you also need to check um, everything else about your instrument setup that we've already talked about today. Um, the last thing I want to tell you about is that you want to make sure that your cello is very vertical and a lot of times people want to be able to check their left hand position by looking at their fingers and that's, that's not so good. The cello in that case would be leaning towards the left and it actually makes it a lot harder to play even though you can see your fingers. So just check to make sure that the cello's neck is very close to your own neck and you actually shouldn't be able to see your fingers in first position. Um, so I hope you found the um, playing position video helpful and I look forward to talking to you in the next video.